Hey everyone, Brian here with Honest Mechanic. Today, we're diving deep into the heart of your vehicle's fuel injection system, the throttle body. This essential piece of machinery is responsible for regulating the amount of air that enters your engine. Picture a gatekeeper, if you will. The throttle body houses a throttle plate that opens and closes, controlling the airflow into the intake manifold. It's a bit like your lungs, really. The throttle body breathes air into your engine, mixing it with fuel to create the combustion that powers your vehicle. It's attached to the intake manifold and has a cable or electronic link to the accelerator pedal. So when you put your foot down, you're essentially telling the throttle body to open up and let more air in. This simple yet vital process allows your car to accelerate smoothly. Now that we know what the throttle body is and what it does, let's move on to the causes of its failure. We're about to delve into the causes soon, but first, let's highlight some critical signs of throttle body malfunction. A heightened idle or irregular idling, hesitation or stalling when you accelerate may be an indication. Decreased, decreased power and acceleration could also hint at an issue. The the check engine light might switch on, a noticeable throttle body or visible carbon buildup might be clear. All these symptoms could red flags that your throttle body may be malfunctioning. If these symptoms present themselves, it could be the right time to check your throttle body. But we'll talk more on this later. Now let's decipher the enigma of what can lead to your throttle body's failure. Elements like dirt, grime, and carbon accumulation can significantly contribute to the malfunctioning of the throttle body. This accumulation interferes with the airflow, barring the throttle plate from functioning seamlessly. Usually, this buildup develops gradually, but can speed up if you often drive in dusty environments or take numerous short. The next reason we have is general wear and tear, the unavoidable adversary of all mechanical parts. The throttle body is no exception to this. Over time, countless minor movements can result in parts such as the throttle plate shaft and bearings wearing down leading to a, a system failure. Subsequently, electronic failures. In today's technologically advanced era, most throttle bodies heavily depend on sensors and sensors and electronic interaction. Wire defects or faulty sensors like the throttle position sensor and controller area network, or CAN, can lead to a myriad of unusual functions. Vacuum leakages also present risk. These leaks can happen either inside the throttle body itself or in the vacuum tubes linked to it. The admission of unmeasured air disturbs the air fuel proportion, leading to a variety of issues. Finally, but not the least prevalent, is carbon accumulation. Particularly in engines that are not regularly used to their deposits can adhere to the throttle plates, obstructing their motion and leading to failure. So there have it. These are the main culprits behind throttle body failure, ranging from dirt and grime to carbon buildup. So, Let's quickly summarize what we've learned today. Throttle body failure can stem from contamination, wear and tear, electrical issues, vacuum leaks, and carbon accumulation. Remember, regular maintenance and prompt repairs are crucial. Keeping your throttle body clean and fixed when issues arise can save you from major headaches down the road. Thanks for tuning in and feel free to drop any questions you have in the comments.